I play the character of Jenny Lind, who is a Swedish opera singer. Uh, she is taken from England to America. Barnum kind of uh, gets her and brings her on this big American tour. Um, and she also steals his arms and steals him away from his wife for a small period of time. I'm Todd McKinney and I'm playing P.T. Barnum in Barnum. Uh, it's the role of a musical theatre performer's lifetime, really. It's, it, it's, it's fun, it's, it requires singing, dancing, the comedy, which I love, um, and also circus skills. I'm really proud that Tyra Park asked me to play this role. I think 2019, yeah. that female power is so important, yeah. and turning the ringmaster into I wouldn't say turning them into a woman because I'm not necessarily playing it as a woman. I think I'm playing it as, I think, I, I hope I'm playing it as more of a them or a they, you choose. Um, I think naturally having a woman play it gives that female power and underline for the, uh, for the ringmaster. And it also gives that seduction of this show business that the ringmaster keeps bringing Barnum back to. Because Barnum itself was written before The Greatest Showman, I think Greatest Showman has done us a huge favour in putting the story of Barnum into people's minds so they know what to expect. They're, they're excited about the circus and they're looking forward to seeing something that, you know, replicates that story. But it is a darker telling of it. It is, you know, the, the full truth of who Barnum was and, and what he did and what he gave up to embrace the circus and to, to have that kind of rush of showbiz. Um, so it, I, I think if people are expecting the, the songs from The Greatest Showman, that's not what we've got. What we've got is the original soundtrack, the original music, incredible live circus troops and a spectacle the set and costume design are incredible. Um, Dan Barber did them. He's an Aussie guy. We've got a full Aussie creative team, so it's very really exciting. I've done a lot of research uh, because when playing a fictional character, you can colour it in, but playing um, a non-fictional character, a real person, is, uh, you've, got to, you've got to give it some truth and some honesty in a month, in a showbiz way. So I've done a lot of research about Barnum and I would urge you to go and do some research on Barnum too because he is a fascinating man. There's so many sides to his life and they're not all great. Some are, but they're not all great. It's a really interesting read. I'm not sure this is my first memory, but I'm going to reveal a secret, and I haven't told Rachel Beck this yet. I, we work with Rachel Beck here um, in the show. She plays Charity Barnum, who, um, his wife. I steal her husband. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, but I actually remember seeing her in Sound of Music at the now uh, Crown Casino. It used to be Burswood then. And I remember being so blown away by her performance and, you know, such a fangirl and l loving everything about the show. And, and I, I was waiting for my dad to pick me up afterwards with my friend out the front. And I, I, mean, I was just so kind of moved by it. And then Rachel came out and said to my friend and I, are, are you guys okay? Can you get home all right? Is there anything I can do? And I was like, <gasps> completely starstruck. And so now to be working with her is, you know, it's really lovely that the Australian theatre community is so lovely and so welcoming to fans and so that when you do actually grow up and become an actress yourself and you're working with people you feel like you already have a relationship with them and that's what I love about theatre in Australia. This is a true story. I first saw Todd McKenney in The White Horse and the opening number he says, I remember you like vests around your seats. I was nine maybe and I thought I get a free vest <laughs> and so I looked under my seat there wasn't anything under my seat I was very disappointed he still owes me one I'm expecting it on opening night um, but that's my first memory in the theatre to just suspend belief you know this leading actor is saying this thing to me in the middle of the song and I wholeheartedly believed him and I think watching this particular show is for every age and I think that maybe I'll give a kid that moment of going, this is real. And I love that, I love that, that's why I'm here.